I, uh, the gentleman sp stated earlier that he had a signed contract. Do you have it available with you? No, because I'm here by luck. Okay. Yeah, um, you, you're right, because we'd have been done if it wasn't for one. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm here because I just came from the property. I could show you photos that are dated right now. And I saw a paper on the floor with today's date, and I rushed over here to see if by luck you were still here at all right, here's what I'm going to do. He did, he did appear late, and I don't know whether or not it's because of lack of notice or he, um, he, he did, in fact, just went to the property and found out about this hearing. I'm going to give you 30 days. We're going to come back here next month, and if by then we're, I'm hearing the same argument, you rest assured that I will ratify the daily fine amount of $100. When, when can we get that fence removed? Crystal, here. I'll, I'll speak to the, uh, if, you, if you call to remind me tomorrow, I'll have that fence removed tomorrow. The, uh, <laughs> the there's, uh, no prepping has been done at all yet. The trees that need to be trimmed to paint on the side of the house, nothing has been done. So hopefully the next 30 days, we'll see a lot of progress. 30 days, and I'm gonna hear this again. And I will remember this conversation. What time can I meet with you, Mr. Fitzell, tomorrow to go and You can go in the back and speak stuff. with Mr. Fitzell. Let's call the next case. The next case would be item number six, case number CMHAO 2015-00012, Officer Shanna Sanders, Betty Wirtz. <laughs> Shanna Sanders, City of North Miami, co Compliance Officer, Division of the North Miami Police Department. This is a case for um, a minimum housing opening. Um, front window of the property is um, open, has been for the past few months. It was initially cited. I found it. <coughs> I'm sorry, it was initially cited March 3rd of this year, went back um, March <clears throat> went back March 19th, um, went back again, long story short, every few months. As of the day, um, the window still remains busted. No repairs have been, re um, have been done. I have pictures of the property to sh um, of the window being open, if you would like to see. Yes. I am showing that proper survey was given um, on the 19th. The property was posted, and on the 22nd, certified mailing was um, mailed out to the property owner as of the day I do show that um, all mail has been be, is being returned to the city but we have um, tried to give all proper notice The pictures that you're looking at um, are dated on 619 when the property was posted. I did reinspect the property this morning, roughly 11, 1130. Um, I took no new pictures because it looks exactly the same as the pictures you're looking at. All right, and the violation is? For a minimum housing opening for the top window that is opened um, and unsecured. I can't tell. How do you see that the window is open? Um, but if you if you see there, um, I'm not sure exactly what picture you're looking at. It should be it's a brown bag or something that's on it, and the bag is partially falling out of the window. Um, it, I mean, from visibly looking in front of the property, you can clearly see that the window is open. the 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 glass is the glass is not in the window pane. If 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 not to, it, it, it's the best way to explain it. Yeah, but th it's, uh, how do you call these type of windows? It's sectioned. I, I don't understand when you say sectioned. It's, it's the, um, I don't know, crank style window and the right. window panels are missing. I can't tell based on this whether or not a panel is actually missing. I don't know if it's your picture 
um, I see something hanging like a, a piece of plastic. Yeah, it was a black, a brown plastic bag in front of the windows because the, the glass is missing. The panel is there, but the glass is missing. It's a brown paper bag that's in front of the open, the missing glass. And the bag is hanging out of it. I mean, that's the best picture I could get. I do I apologize. Know, but the, the purpose of, of, this, of this statute is what? The and or the purpose of this violation By is what? That the property is open and unsecured. Um, so you think that somebody can go through this missing panel? Or um, I mean, if they get on a ladder, it's a two-story building um, on 142nd Street. It's a two-story um, apartment, and that's it's a house. Um, if they get on a ladder, they can possibly get up there, but, you know, it's not so much if they can get in, it's that it's open and uns unsecured. I'm sorry, I don't see it here. Based on the evidence presented, I will dismiss the case. Okay. The next case is item number seven. Uh, Officer Ernst Baptiste, case number CEMHO 2015-00006, item number seven. Blanca Garcia. Ernst Baptiste, City of Miami, Code Enforcement Officer. Um, this is a, um, a MHO case for opening window that doesn't have any, um, that's not secure and the bag have a door that doesn't have a door. And this is a case that was adjudicated before. And today I inspected the house. Um, notice was sent out on the 18 and posted on the 18 of June. And I have a picture to show the um, violation still exists. Reviewing photographs that were taken today, 7 1 2015, showing the violation of the. Um, is it broken, missing? Missing. Missing window. And the door also. There's oh, the, nothing. That's the door. That's yes. correct. It's a, a big gaping yes. hole. Yes. Okay. All right. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer, I find um, that the violation does exist. I find um, in favor of the city. I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear. Um, I will hereby impose a daily fine amount of $100 per day with an abatement date of um, August 4th, 20, in August? August 4th, 2015, sorry. Honor, on this case, it's actually already been adjudicated um, with a. Um, and I have it circled too. And I still went on. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I, I just realized that that's what I did. I was supposed to ratify the fine, and then I went and adjudicated this a second time. Okay, um, so make sure we're on and the even same. though my notes is right here. So, yes, based on the unrebutted testimony of the officer, I find that the violation still exists. Um, I hereby ratify the um, daily fine amount of $100 plus cost. The next case is item number 13, Officer M. Fitzell, case number CEXP 2015-00225, Darla Jean Simpson, Simpson. Edmund Fitzell, City of North Miami Code Enforcement Officer. This property was cited originally on November, I mean, excuse me, on notice of violation on May 8th under violation section 5-46, exterior paint. Property was posted with notice to appear on June 18th, mailed notice to appear on June 19th. I've made several contacts with this property. No one answers the door. I left my business card. No one has called me back 
There are some photos. Reviewing photographs um, submitted by the officer taken on today's date, 7 1 15. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer, I find um, that the violation does exist. I find good notice and given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear or the owners have failed to appear. Um, I find in favor of the city. Um, I hereby impose a daily fine amount of $50 with an abatement date of August 4, 2015. The next case is item number 14, Officer Ernst Baptiste, CEXP 2015-00159. Item number 14. Ernst Baptiste, City of North Miami, Code Enforcement Officer. This is a new case for um, painting the exterior of the main property. Um, house was posted. Uh, on the, I mean, the initial violation was observed on the on March uh, 20, 2015. House was posted uh, and on the 22nd of June, 2015, and mail certified was sent out. Um, again, this is a exterior that need to be painted. Today I inspected the property and then still the same way, nothing was done. Thank you. Okay, reviewing photographs taken by the code enforcement officer um, with today's date 7-1-2015. And based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation does exist. I find good notice and given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear. I find in favor of the city. Um, I will impose a daily fine amount of $100 with an abatement date of August 4th, 2015. Next case is item number 16, Officer William Christine, case number CEXP 2015-00084, item number 16. Vito Lynn Christie, Code Compliance, City of North Miami Police Department. This is a case that was already heard. Um, notice was posted at the property on 619 and I have not made contact with the property owner. Violation remains the same as of today. Pictures? Yep. No? Oh. photographs submitted by the code enforcement officer when were these taken today okay. based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer I find that the violation still exists I also find good notice and given proper notice the owner has failed to appear so I will um, hereby sort of ratify the daily fine amount of a hundred dollar, no, actually, of fifty dollars plus cost.
The next case is item number 34, Officer Ernst, Ernst Baptiste, case number CEXP 2015-00191. Okay, what number was that? Thirty-four. This this is an um a e ex Ernst Baptist Code Enforcement Officer, City of Miami. This is an exterior um, property violation that needed to be painted. Um, the house was posted on the 18th of June, and the case was, it's not an old, it's not a new case. It was heard before, and today I inspected the house, and it's still the same way. Reviewing photograph submitted by the code enforcement officer with today's date, 7-1-2015. And based on the unrebutted testimony in of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation still exists. I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owners have failed to appear. Um, therefore, the daily fine amount of $50 is hereby ratified plus cost. The next case is item number 38, Officer Shanna Sanders, case number CDSP 2015-00006, item number 38. Shanna Sanders, City of North Miami Code Compliance Officer. This is the case for report of previous compliance for um, depreciation of surrounding properties. Um, proper service has been given. The property was posted on um, 622. Um, it's out of order. It was on 622, and um, certified mailing was also mailed out on the 22nd. Um, as of the day, the property still remains in the same condition. Um, I do have pictures of you would like to see. Reviewing photographs um, submitted by the code enforcement officer um, dated 7-1-2015. And based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer in the evidence presented, I find that the violation still exists. I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear. Um, all right, the daily fine amount of $50 is hereby ratified. The next case is item number 53, Officer Wayne Clark, case number CEIVY 2015-00034, item number 53. 0034, was it? Wayne Clark, City of North Miami Code Compliance. Uh, this is in reference to a vehicle uh, with flat tires. Uh, probably did get proper service on June 18th, 2015. I have not heard from the owner or any responsible person of the vehicle. I'd like to submit the photos for the record showing that the vehicle does have flat tires and an expired tag. Okay. Based 
on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation does exist. I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear. I find in favor of the city and will impose a daily fine amount of $50 with an abatement date of August 4th, 2015. The next case is item number 48, Officer Ernst Baptiste, case number CEJNK 2015 Ernst Baptiste, City of Miami, Code Enforcement Officer. This is a junk on property violation for property located at 12345 Griffin Boulevard. Um, house was posted on June 18 and the certified mail was sent out and today I inspected the house and the junk is still on the north side of the property. I have a picture. Yes, please. Is that a refrigerator? A yeah, refrigerator and, and, and part of a pallet wood piece that is in front of it to the side. Okay. And this is a new case. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation does exist. I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owners have failed to appear. I find in favor of the city. Um, I hereby impose a daily fine amount of $50 with an abase abatement date of August 4th, 2015. The next case is item number 52, Officer Ernst Baptiste, case number CEFAW 2015-00016, item number 52. Ernst Baptiste, City of Miami, Code Enforcement Officer. This is an old case that was heard before. Um, property was posted on, the, on June 18, 2015. Inspected the house today. The fence still not repaired, and still in the same way it was. All right. Um, reviewing photographs taken today, 701 2015. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation still exists. I also find good notice, given proper notice, the owners have failed to appear. Um, this matter was adjudicated on 4-2, 2015. The um, daily fine amount of $50 is hereby ratified. Uh, I can't see whether it goes retroactive or, okay, abate. Okay, the abatement date was May 5th, so retroactive to May 5th, 2015. The next case is item number 59, Officer Wayne Clark, case number CEXP 2015-00027. Wayne Clark, City of North Miami, code compliance. Uh, this was a, a case, I believe it was uh, already adjudicated, if I'm not mistaken. The property was posted with proper service uh, June 21st, 2015, in reference to the exterior roof paint conditions. Um, to date, 
Um, I haven't heard from no contact from the owner, and the roof is in the same condition. Um, resubmitting the pho photos for the record again. Already adjudicated uh, as Same of last date. month. Yes. Okay. And um, hmm. these photographs were taken in six three. Yes. Same Nothing condition. Else. Yes. Worst condition. Except for the rain and stuff. All right. Based so on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find the violation still exists. I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear. Um, the daily fine amount of $50 is hereby ratified. The next case is item number 68, Officer Wayne Clark, case number CEMHS 2015-0005, item number 68. Uh, I would like to postpone this case or reschedule this case um, in order to get some updated photos uh, unless you want to accept it as is. The photos that I have is dated back in April, being that uh, the owner is not giving me access to the property at this moment to do a reinspection and whatnot. So I'm, I take it that it has not been cured. So uh, upon your recommendation, Special Magistrate, uh, unless you would accept the pictures from April 21st, 2015. And uh, uh would you like for me to continue the case uh, with the with the uh, photos from April 21st? That was the last time you had access to. Yes, because the because the owner is being very difficult. You know, um, we've called had to have call the police out a couple times and all this on the property. So, if it makes my case better, I'd like to uh, reschedule it. Or all right, let's re reschedule it and see what happens. Thank you. The next case is item number 63, Officer Shanna Sanders, case number C and C E N U S two zero one five zero 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 eight. And for record, this is a nuisance case. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, going back to the last case. This was. 68. That was 68? The last case. Okay. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. You indicated that it went, the violation goes back to April? No, I say that's what, when I had took the photos, that's what the photos are uh, dated is April uh, 21st. 2015 was the last time I was able to access the inside of the property. Okay, because I, I can see that it hasn't been adjudicated. Uh, no, this case. we haven't heard that case this yet. Is a, this is the first Right, new up. case. Okay, got it. All right, let's reschedule and see what happens, and um, we'll revisit that next month. Okay, good night. Good night, thank you. I'm sorry, which one did you call? Item number 63. Shanna Sanders, City of North Miami, Code Compliance Officer, um, Division of the North Miami Police Department. This is a um, nuisance case um, that was first cited back in January upon my um, commander's um, request. Um, I visited the property a couple of times. I'm no longer the officer in that area, but I was asked to go ahead and proceed with the case. I inspected the property um, today, and it remains in the same condition as it did when I was last there in January. Um, I have pictures of the property if you would like to see dating back over the past few months and um, as early as, um, or late as today. Um, I have pictures of the property if you would like to see. Again, um, this is a nuisance case and I wanna make sure that an, as in addition to um, adjudicating that we do declare it a nuisance. Um, so it has not been declared a nuisance? No, this is the first time I'm hearing it because it, we, we changed zones. So I'm, I'm trying to close out some of my old cases. I was asked to go ahead and proceed this one. So it is, um, 
you know, I'm showing back in January, I, I uh, initially opened it, but it looks exactly the same as it did, if not even worse, because I'm seeing the busted windows, grass overgrown, trees overgrown. Um, nothing has happened since January. So we, if we can, we can um, abate it, adjudicate it, I'm sorry, and um, declare the nuisance at the same time, if possible. I am showing proper service was giving. Um, I posted the property on June um, 19th and certified mailing was mailed out on the 15th. Um, I'm gonna pass up the pictures for you to see. I'm gonna smile as I'm saying this. Um, um, the gate is locked. Um, it's another one, but you know, hopefully you can see it from the picture, but the windows um, along the front on the right side of the property, the two middle windows are missing, the panels, the glass is missing. Um, the front door, I tried to zoom in as close as I can because again, the gates are locked. The front door is wide open. Um, the neighbors have been calling. The police went out there with me on a couple of occasions, but again, that was back in January, but the door is still wide open and the windows are still missing. All right, and you wanted to declare it a nuisance and what else? Um, we could go ahead and you know adjudicate it and declare it a nuisance if possible. All right, based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer, I find <coughs> um, that the violation does exist. I find and will declare this property a nuisance. Um, I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owners have failed to appear. And I don't usually issue a daily fine amount or an abatement date on the nuisance cases, correct? Um, I believe at one time we wasn't, but um, you know, I, I'm honest enough to say it has changed over time. I'm not sure. I, I guess our city attorney could say if we're giving it fines or whatnot. I think they said we're proceeding on with it as normal cases. We're just attaching the nuisance um, to it. I mean, you would adjudicate it as any other case. It would just be an additional order declaring it a nuisance. Okay. So um, I already adjudicated. I find in favor of the city. Um, I will issue an abatement date of August 4th and a daily fine amount of um, $100. The next case is item number 64, Officer Ernst Baptiste, case number CEXP 2014-00262, item number 64. Ernst Baptiste, City of North Miami, Code Enforcement Officer. This is a case that was adjudicated before um, for the, the deterioration of the ex exterior of the property, paint peeling, fissure board, and, and soft feet in bad condition um, property was posted on june 20 on june 18 and today i inspected the house and took picture still in the same condition Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer <coughs> and the evidence presented, I find that the violation still exists. I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owners have failed to appear. Um, therefore, the daily fine amount of $50 is hereby ratified. The next case is item number 69, Officer Shanna Sanders, case number CEXP 2015-00157. I'm sorry, I was trying to stay on the same mic so I won't cough into all of these. Um, um, Code Officer Sanders, Co-Compliance um, Unit, Division of North Miami Police Department. Um, this is a case for we're on 69, I apologize. This is a case for exterior property that's being unmaintained. Um, this case is a non-homesteaded property with no visible life safety issues that I can see. It was originally cited back in March 
um, sent the notice of violation, gotten a response, mailed another notification on April 22nd, um, still haven't gotten a response. As of the day, the property still remains um, in need of some pressure cleaning and possibly some um, a, a fresh coat of paint is, is severely mildew stained, um, dirt stained. I do have pictures if you would like to see, but before I pass the pictures up, just making sure to say proper service has been given, um, was given, the property was posted on June 19th. Um, certified mailing was mailed out on June 15th. I have, n I am showing all letters have been coming back. Certified mailing was turned back in the letters um, but the property appears to be occupied, um, but it is a non-homesteaded property. Hearing photographs taken, submitted by the code enforcement officer, taken on today's date, 7 1 2015. I had to take them from the sidewalk, but I tried to zoom in as close as possible as you could see that around the dirt and around the door is dirt stained. Um, there's some trees in the front of the property are severely overgrown, so it was um, a lot of sap and mildew um, stains along the front and sides. Right. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find um, that the violation does exist. I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear. I find in favor of the city and um, I will impose a daily fine amount of $50 with an abatement date of August 4th, 2015. The next case is item number 70, Shanna Sanders, case number CELSC 2015-00008, item number 70. Um, this is a, p a companion case to the case that um, was just heard for 1702 Northeast 142nd Street. This is um, a case for non-maintenance of the landscaping um, because of the overgrown trees that are along the property. Um, you know, I guess you can see, you can barely see it. That's why I had to zoom in as I did. This case, um, again, is a non-homesteader property with no visible life safety issues. This case was originally um, cited and on April 28th, um, mailed out a notice of violation, so went back out May 15th, went back again May 30th. As of today, the landscaping and trees around the property remain overgrown. I am showing proper service was giving. Um, certified mailing was mailed out on June 15th. Certified, um, I noticed to appear was posted at the property on June 19th. I have pictures of the landscaping you know, the overgrown trees, if you would like to see. And I'll send up pictures of the previous bow, because as you see, the trees are, you know, overgrown. And you can see it from actually both bows. All right, based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation does exist. I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear. I find in favor of the city, I hereby impose a daily fine amount of $50 with an abatement date of August 4th, 2015. The next case is item number 74, Officer Vidian Christie. Case number CEXP 2015-00040. Item number 74. Vidal and Christy, Code Compliance, City of North Miami Police Department. This is case has been heard prior. Um, notice was posted at the property on uh, June 19th. 
Um, I have not made contact with anyone at the property. And as of today, there has been no changes at the property. I do have pictures for the record. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer and the evidence presented, I find that the violation still exists. I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear. The daily fine amount of $50 is hereby ratified. The next case is item number 75, Officer Ernst Baptiste, case number CENUS. 2015-00034, and for the record, this is a nuisance case, item number 75. Ernst Baptiste, City North Miami, Code Enforcement Officer with the Police Department. Um, this is a new case, it's a nuisance case, um, and the case was, or the violation was open on the uh, May 13, 2015, um, was posted on June 18, 2015, and certified mail was set out on the 22nd. This is a um, life, life safety issue because of, in front of the one of the front door of a duplex. It's like an old f water fountain that was there, and it looked like a big part hole, and it's it's uh, a breeding ground for mosquitoes when you're looking at it in our picture to show the violation. Based on the unrebutted testimony of the code enforcement officer, I find that the violation does exist. I also find good notice and given proper notice, the owner has failed to appear. I find in favor of the city. I hereby impose a daily fine amount of $50 with an abatement date of August 4th, 2015. That completes the agenda. However, I want to add a case that was complied by Officer Monica Frederick. It's case number CEBLR 2015-0031, item number 60 on the agenda. Okay, repeat that for me. Item number 60, case number CEBLR 2015-0031 has been complied. Okay. Does that conclude our? Yes, that concludes all of deletions and um, the numbers on the agenda. All right, so adjourned. <laughs>